All right, hello and welcome back to the For the Badge podcast. It's been a wild weekend in the Premier League. Lots of action going on and we're going to get to every single bit of it. But before we do, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, get the notification bell on. Here we go. All right. It's United. Yeah. What do you mean? It's United. Yeah, it's United. Um, yeah, I mean, yes, segues are weird. What a wonderful segue that is. Uh, you know, it's United because they were just magnificent. They're just the greatest, <sighs> the greatest team to ever beat Leicester. Uh, you know, hey, they're former yeah. champions. Leicester are former champions, so you know, United beating them is just yeah. it's huge. But, For sure, uh, Rashford. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna telling give you, his flowers. I'm gonna give his, that guy there, man. He's in the, the, the British media's <laughs> absolute love with them is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I get it though. I get it though. They gotta, they gotta hype their man. You know, he's the next. I mean, especially. No, 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 no. I'm just talking about United in general. So uh, that. What? What did you say, Lewis? The Glazers are gonna keep the team, and Liverpool is gonna stay with uh, what is it? LFG. Yeah. Gotta love it. The old guard said, "You know what? We're we're staying here because we yeah. see what's happening." Yeah, are the Glazers really keeping the team? Everything I've yeah. seen is they've got two two bidders. Yeah, but they, they got some out. some Wall yeah. Street financiers that are going to give them the money. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. That's good. Now, mind you, the United fans I know hate that idea. They want the Glazers gone. <laughs> so, yeah, they do. Well, right. Well, I don't know, man. Some but some are, bringing in the Qataris aren't really. I don't think they're just going to bleed the club. Yeah, I don't know, man. Some United fans uh, struggle. I feel like, I mean, I guess a, I guess a whole lot of fans across the board, whatever your team is, can be really results oriented. But I, 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 I just have to stress, like, can we watch these games? Like this punditry, some of the things the pundits are saying, like, can we go back and look at this game? I want to show you. I want to show y'all something. I, I saved this when I saw it. Because uh, as much as I hate Manchester United, as much as the next guy, I hate Manchester United. I want to. I want to big up Ten Hag, as the as they say in England. Uh, you know, I want. I want to say that this tweet right here, talking about, or it was in a, a tweet by ESPN UK talking about in his interview how he acknowledged how bad they were. In the first half. There it is right there. It was a great goal, but the rest, it is rubbish. And I 100% agree. But some of these, some United fans uh, just didn't recognize, just wouldn't even begin to think about the fact that the form, the, the starting lineup and the formation and the tactics in the first half were the worst I've seen from United. They were terrible. It was all, horrible. If it wasn't it was for De Gea, absolute trash. If it wasn't the greatest for De Gea, goal they're in Premier League history. Hey, the Give greatest De center defensive mid didn't play. Give De Gea his props. I will. I will. He had some good saves. I will say that. Give Give De Gea his props. But on the twenty third minute, when Rashford scores, it should be three one Leicester. Yep. The game should have been put to bed in the 20th minute. It should be 3-0 Leicester. Wow. I mean, if teams uh, score the goals they're supposed to, City would have won 5-1. I mean, exactly. that's yeah. not what happened. Hey, yeah, we would have won, won 7-0. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, you know, but tactically, with having Veghorst play your – Center attacking mid roll, he had no clue. He had no idea. He got dragged all over the place. Fred was having to cover so much for him. He's getting dragged all over the place, man. It was it was bad news bears. And if not for Marcus Rashford, who and it, in his life, man. By the way, his life. By the way, I'm not gonna you know nothing against Rashford. He's just doing what he's getting paid to do, but. No, no VAR check again on that first goal. Wasn't even, didn't even look at it. Didn't even draw the lines. Looked off, look, looked like clear offsides of me. 
All uh, VAR would do was confirm his greatness. What are you talking about, I'm sir? Just, I'm just saying, man. The guy, like, both the Leicester... Uh, Feist was already beat by the pass. But the other guy stepped forward as Rasher was going past him. And I thought he timed it correctly. I thought he'd gotten him. And I said in the game, I didn't even, like, react. I was like... Uh, well, let's look, let's see the VAR check. You know, let's, let's see what's going to happen. There wasn't one. Yeah, there wasn't one. Wasn't Because one. why? The cop too, baby. Oh my goodness. And then the why? next one, and then the next goal and, and credit to Ten Hag. Like I said, he noticed it this in the one. first half. He's like, look, this is terrible. Yes, it is. And he switched it completely at halftime, right at halftime. He didn't switch the formation or the tactics. He switched the personnel. And he got it spot on. Uh, they improved dramatic, like dramatically. They improved from first half to second half. It was obvious um, that. And again, Sancho as the the guy he brought in for center attack in mid. Eh, he was okay, but at least positionally he knew where to be. He owes got them. a goal. He owes them though. He he. It's about time he's done something. Yeah. yeah I mean. He just, he definitely, and Veghorst pushed forward. They took Garnacho off and pushed Rashford wide. Um, and I thought that, uh, I thought it worked, worked a peach. You know, I was obviously disappointed by that. I was really hoping that they would continue and that Lester would be able to, you know, pull something out. But, um, you know, as much as, as much as we talk about, you know, in-game management and stuff and, and Potter not really being able to figure it out. Uh, you know, Ten Hag figured this one out immediately. Like, I, don't, I don't know how long. It probably didn't take him long to realize, yo, we're getting blitzed here. And they, I remember, uh, yeah, if you the, – the best way to put it is when they scored, uh, Ten Hag did not celebrate. When the camera goes to the bench, he's screaming at one of the defenders, come here. Come here. He's like screaming at somebody. Mm -hmm. One of his players, come here. We got to fit. We got to sort this out because it was bad. Uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, and then this one just like Bruno is going to get all plotted again. But he will. He has more bad passes than good ones. Uh, but mm. his good passes lead to goals because he's the greatest attacking midfielder that was he ever does. formulated and touched the soil of the Premier League. He doesn't play attacking midfielder. He plays winger for some reason. He <laughs> plays everywhere because he's the greatest at whatever he's it is good. he's supposed he's to do. He's good. the greatest midfielding player. I kept expecting him to, player. to slot in. Nope. He was a he was a ghost in this game, you know, except for he's just got vision. You know, he's got he's got vision. And he can see the pass, and he can pick the pass. But it was like his his assist was one touch. He didn't that's like, all he needs. He didn't, oh my god! He didn't like get into you know some great position, you know, and he's yes, he did. Know, and he dribbled around the man and played a no look pass. It was like just a, a you know, it was a great ball. Don't get me wrong, but it you know it wasn't like Rashford made that goal. Yeah. We should be talking about Rashford, not not necessarily the pass that every man on that pitch should be able to make. The ball had Bruno's essence in it. Uh, yeah. And when the <laughs> essence oh my God, I'm done. came across and touched Rashford, <laughs> yeah. matching Rashford's uh, essence, the ball was like, I have to go home. This isn't Space Jam, Lewis. <laughs> it, had, it had the stuff. It was yeah, the it had stuff. Had the, it had the, and it was in it. Stuff. Yeah. Um, you notice that Rashford actually looked up and saw, he looked over and saw Garnacho and was like, nah. Don't <laughs> <laughs> ask anyone either. Yeah. Rips it. Rips it into the corner. Uh, yeah. Sure. He had all day to decide that, too. Yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah. It's one of those where it's like, maybe he had too, much, too long to think about that one. Yeah. But then, no. You're looking at the player of the season. Mm, that's not uh, I don't know player that. of the season. 
It's not going to happen. Where's Manchester Red? Manchester is having the loud, gargantuan <laughs> ogre footsteps in the Arsenal head. No. Player of no. the season, Marcus Rashford. Yeah, what's the line on it? I, I'll bet on it. Right now, I'd bet on it. Let me get. Let me get. Let me go ask Tony. Hang on. Uh, we gotta get up. On get up with Ivan. Get up with Ivan. But no, I was gonna say this. Uh, I actually did get to watch this one pretty in depth, and you were right. That first twenty minutes, United looked like they had no business being on the same pitch as Leicester. I mean, it was a blitzkrieg. Oh, we forgot. How does Brendan Rodgers have a shot? Up. I would rather my team perform like that for 20 minutes than end up with the performances we've had all season. Like, But no, I don't understand how my dude has a job. That's who the next Chelsea manager could be. Oh, dear God. No. I will shoot you in the foot. So you, you wouldn't take him? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because you, you've you been hardcore Potter out, and we are all pretty much on the consensus now that he should be out. You know out. what? Would you, know you not what? take honestly, Brendan Rodgers? Honestly, I would take Goofy over yeah. Potter. It don't matter who it is. I'll take Brendan Rodgers. I'd take RVB back. Oh. oh you man. mean AVB? Yeah. Yes. Or AVB. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah oh. I think they he got, with like, got I think he disappeared in Russia at some point. I'm bring back sure John. T- bring John Terry. <sighs> no, we need to bring. No, in- it's probably Abram Grant or uh, Abram. Grant. No, we get Always foul. Abram. Anyway, Brendan Rodgers. Always should, Abram. Brendan Rodgers. Should. Rogers. Hey, yeah. actually, actually, uh, I saw that uh, Ancelotti's not looking to re-sign a contract with Real. I'll there take you. Go. There you go, right there, right there. Uh, but no, I, I thought, uh, yeah, if it wasn't for David De Gea, that this is this is three three nil. Done and dusted, and United's chasing the rest of the game against a low block. Yeah, absolutely. And so, so do we blame Rogers for that? I mean, we can't really blame him for that, can we? No. I mean, I thought tactically he set him up pretty well. That at the, at the and he enough. should have a job. <laughs> there he it is. Does like there that? Is. He's got these. Yeah, he's fine. We're all about. At least he can explain he's his lineup. Just, don't. He's a wizard, man. He went to Hogwarts. He's a magician. He 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 knows how to you know keep him in thrall under his spell. You know he went. To, he's he's from Hufflepuff house though. So you know he know is. Yet. Straight. You know, my straight man Hufflepuff. Dirt on the board or the owners so deep that they just they just won't fire him. He- yeah. Well, uh, I think yeah. that'll do it uh, for us as well. We've gotten quite the distance this evening. Uh, but uh, go ahead and uh, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Get the notification bell on. This has been the For the Badge podcast. Hope you've enjoyed it. I know I have. Have a good night.